Hi guys, thank you all for joining. I'm Dr. Linda Kramer and today is Tarot Day. Okay, today I'm going to resort back to picking the cards out of the deck so you see the ones that I get, okay? While I shuffle and I connect with my lady and get the card for today out of my one deck here because I've got four types, remember I've got the Louise Benton range and I've also got my deck look how many cards are in there as well as I pull out a ruin stone today okay so I'm going to tell a story while I pick out the cards so you see that one I get the cards not from me it's always from them they shuffle they throw the card out to me and also I want to tell you a story so first of all I'm going to connect with all my cards I'm just tapping all the decks tap 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 I'm connecting with all my stones today I want stone and cards that represent what we need to hear for the next seven days those that are willing and learning to be better people give us a card that represents what we all need to hear give us that message this week and while I talk please throw me out the cards okay so I'm looking for one card to be thrown out while I shuffle so yesterday I was sitting here with no internet I was going to do a video but my internet was down and I went out the back sitting in the sun and I said please give me a sign <clears throat> or a message of what I should be talking about in my videos about five minutes later I get this bing email and I thought oh the internet's now back on the email was from Netflix and it said there's a new documentary that you might like to watch it's called untold the story of the girlfriend who never existed now see that card there's one there that's my card okay so I'm gonna put that down and I'm gonna hide my deck so I thought <coughs> internet's back on I'll go and watch this in this untold the girl the story of the girlfriend who never existed now I'm going to pull one out from the Louise Benton range okay so that's her card the link is below if you want to go and buy her cards okay she's creating more and more every day she does all the artwork okay so the cards that I use the decks are now getting bigger thank you Louise okay all right so let's shuffle these up all right so in this story his name is Tio and he's a famous footballer in America college football he's working for Notre Dame okay university so he meets this person online he gets a friend request and she says oh hi how are you I like you so then he finds out that she's got all these other family cousin and a brother that he also friends okay he's talking to this girl for two years they end up ringing each other on the telephone okay for two years they're communicating every time he says let's meet there's always an excuse oh I can't I'm my car's broken down I'm just trying to save money so she wasn't asking him for money she just didn't want to actually physically meet him so it comes to the point where this guy he's a footballer he's got this major championship competition coming up and <clears throat> he says to this girl I want to meet you so that week not only did his grandmother die but he also found out this girl was in hospital about to die in a car accident as well she was in on life support so he's on the phone to this supposed cousin who's a male and the male turns around and says I'll take you into her room so you can hear her breathing and he said I could hear her breathing through the mask so how elaborate was this plan so turns out that a few weeks later now oh look I just got my card there it is okay so I'm gonna, that's one card I'm going to show you the artwork I'll put it there and I'll hide these ones so now let's go through the second one okay and as you know my eyes do water when I do energy work okay so a few days later he gets this message that she's not really dead what the heck so he goes to the football team of Mount Notre Dame, the presidents, etc. And he says, oh my God, I've just lost my girlfriend. 
and my grandmother in the same week, I want to dedicate this this um, game to both of them. So there's this huge media output, ESPN, Fox Sport, all these in... Oh, look, I've got my card. Look, there it is. Okay, that's the one on the top there. Ooh. Ooh, okay, put that one down. Okay, so ends up that we find out that this girl is actually a male footballer with very, very low self-esteem, very, very low security levels, creates fake profiles on the internet, pretending to be other people, so then she can enjoy the life that they have without actually being their life. It's called catfishing, guys, okay? Um, I'm just going to get a stone now, thank you so much. Oh, this is the one you want. Oh, actually, that wasn't the one, I dropped it. Let me find the one. I think it's that little one that one okay it's that one okay oh whatever this one that's not the one okay all right i just heard that's not the one go back in and find it it's just a little that one thank you okay i got it all right yes that's the one so it looks like an eye okay so at the end of this he he doesn't get picked for the football when he goes professional after college and he loses millions of dollars in deals all because this guy, who's now a girl, which nothing wrong with transgender, okay? But at the end of the day, this person destroyed his life without realizing what they were doing. So before I do today's spread, because there's a message here, okay? One, it's the ripple effect. When we do things, it's called an action. There is always a reaction in the universe. So contemplate before you do anything and say to yourself, is this actually going to hurt anyone? Is this going to benefit others in any way or form? Or is it going to pull them down and diminish them? Is my actions today going to hurt or help? Okay. Because at the end of the day, this poor guy, Tio, he ends up going to a psychologist and because he's in masses of depression because he thought he was in love with this person who never existed it's on netflix untold the story of the girlfriend who never existed okay yeah the girlfriend who never existed oh my god um so you can imagine where this guy was feeling so the psychologist says to him did you ever forgive her for what she did and he looked at the psychologist and said, what do you mean? And I got it. I got it. Me, Linda, I understood what the psychologist was saying. And then the psychologist said to him, did you ever forgive yourself? Because you were only doing what you thought was right at the time. And it dawned on me then why this was a message for me remember I was sitting at the back and I said if you want me to do a video please give me a message I watched that show for two hours because it was two one hour episodes to get the message at the end of the second episode where the psychologist says to the guy have you healed yourself because at the end of the day guys we all have a life review and we all have to face our own actions we never deal with the emotions or the actions of other people or things or animals okay we don't have to deal with them because that's their karma to deal with at the end of the day we judge our own actions we're the ones who are responsible for what we do and at the end of the day it's not so much about forgiving others for what they've done to us it's understanding that they've got their own life to lead and most importantly, we forgive ourselves and we say to ourselves, you know what, Linda, you were only doing what you could at that time. You trusted, you believed in that. You thought it was going to be OK. But life happens and things do go wrong and it's out of our control or responsibility. So therefore, we cannot blame ourselves for what we've done in the past. So there's a message for today, guys, okay? Now let's go into the cards and see what this represents to that message that I've just told you about. It's on Netflix. It's called Untold, The Girlfriend Who Never Existed. So the first card, 
Love enjoys doing things together. Love does enjoy doing things together. You know, there's so much research out there that says that there's so many benefits of hugging somebody. Okay? Um, go ahead and hug somebody. Even give yourself a hug. Oh, and imagine that you're getting that from somebody else. Feel the arm around you and say, oh my God, that's my favorite friend giving me a hug right now. It's okay to hug ourselves, okay? And it's okay to do things together. For the past two years, I've tried to really stop that. And now it's time to get out there and start doing it again. So think about your hobbies, think about your interests, what you'd like to be doing, and go out there and make it happen. Find your tribe. That's what I'm saying today, okay? So now we've got the Louise Benton range, beautiful artwork, and it's the communion card. So I'll leave that there for a moment if you do want to pause the screen. Okay, communion. <clears throat> Divine miracle of spirit and form. Through the sacred portal of woman we are born. Into the manifest world we fall as we hear the sound of Gaia's call. Now the big word that's jumping out at me is manifest. <clears throat> From a child we're always creating. We're always manifesting our future. Don't stop doing that guys. Just because like now I'm 56, there's still things that I want to do in this lifetime okay <clears throat> so keep creating this sensuous world a truly magical place rest in her presence and feel her embrace life unfolds in every moment changing expanding transforming evolving mystic realms we have yet to explore beauty beyond what we have known before as we open our hearts the more life can th flow in and a deeper connection to earth can begin love and joy is doing things together i love it when these cards come together like this okay surrender your heart to the heart of the mother a planetary being with soul like no other we journey together and she embraces our union of spirit and form in this holy communion now surrender your heart that's where we forgive surrender your heart and just allow others that have done things that may have hurt us don't carry that burden of what other people do i've got to tread lightly and say this politically correct but there are so many different races of people out there who blame their existence on what happened to their grandparents and their great-great-grandparents I say to those people, and I'm honest, it may hurt, but don't blame your situation on what happened to people generations before. What they did was their life, was their creation and their manifestation. You are now in the opportunity to make your own. That's my philosophy on this, guys, okay? We are all here individually, yet when we return to the universe, we are a collection of one. So in the bottom it says, I am an, an integration of spirit and form and I embrace the sensuous beauty of this world. So get out there and enjoy this world, guys. That's what the cards are saying, okay? Now, I've got to go and do my tarot card. Let's go and find the one I'm looking for. Okie dokie, where are we? I have the Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords. Let's go read what this guy says. This card often shows feelings of suffering, disappointment and despair. A sense of anxiety being experienced. Now, we're all feeling it. I actually just had a phone call. I'm um, a text last night. You know who you are. I love you, darling girl. Okay? All right? The text I got last night was virtually saying she's getting attacked by all sides in her family. She doesn't know how she's going to cope. I replied and I said, darling one, I'm in the same boat as you. <laughs> Trying to keep it light for her because she wasn't feeling so good. I actually offered if she wanted to ring me. I hope she does today okay 
We're all feeling the suffering, disappointment and despair. Lies are getting untold. They're changing the reality. I love it. The new ad on TV now says, don't use that test. Use this one. It's more effective. <laughs> you know what that means, right? <laughs> Please wake up and tell me you know what that means, right? Okay. All right. So let's get back to the cards. Yet once more, we are reminded that the swords do not actually touch the person. It may be the fear of them that creates the problem and therefore the negative emotions can become self-perpetrating. We live in a world of fear. They're still trying to bring it out with all these new um, money and then followed by the word plocks, if you know what I'm talking about. All these new things that are coming out now. They have to keep it going, okay? They have to. Because if they just came out and said, oh, it's not really as bad as we thought, eh, a lot of people will want to stand up and be compensated. Which, this is where we've got to remember the message from last night. This man, this footballer, in the untold the story of the girlfriend who never existed, why didn't he charge that woman? Why didn't he get her? Why didn't he sue her? Why did he not make her accountable for her actions? She destroyed his life. He didn't get picked on the football teams. He was mocked. He actually says at one point, I used to walk into a room and everyone would say, Oh my God, there's Tio. But now I walk into a room and they go, Oh my God, that's Tio. Imagine him where this is all over ESPN Fox Sport everywhere where people are now criticizing him and saying oh my god what a fake what a fraud my god you'd never want to leave your house because one you've got camera crews outside your door every day wanting interviews imagine that poor guy's life that she created by not dealing with her own crud she was the only one who could look at herself and say, I need help. So she's created this world through that ripple effect where this footballer was now living the life that she had. Despair, disappointment, feelings of not being good enough. See how the ripple effects works? She had it and she made it all in him because of their connection. So this is where we've got to think, well, do I really want to be the type of person who makes other people's lives a misery and disappointment? I want to be that change. I want to be the one who walks outside today and makes people's lives better. Even if it's a smile, even if it's a hug, even if it's me enjoying doing things together. The communion of being with others. So this card, let's keep going. It may be the fear. <laughs> Don't let them fear you out, guys, okay? Seeing the matter clearly releases you from it. So this, again, is where we release things from our lives. Things that don't suit us. Things that aren't, aren't viable. Things that are not for our survival, release them. Forgive them. Like this guy in this movie last night that I watched. Why didn't he sue her? Why didn't he make her life a living hell? Because he did not pull the revenge trip. He did not have to create it back on her just because she did it to him. He forgave her. And at the end of the day, she's now happy knowing that she can now walk around as a transgender woman and she's not getting mocked. This guy is now getting out there. He's obviously made a hell of a lot of money from his Netflix deal. <laughs> so it's the money's coming back in for him. So the energies are now realigned because he did what was right in the universe's energies. He forgave. He did not retaliate. He did not mock or be sarcastic or gossip. He was loving. Isn't that who you all want to be? I hope. 
Okay. Usually it is our own fear that blinds us, making what might happen appear worse than the actual the situation it really is. So stop creating things in our lives that might occur. Anxiety, therefore, I've studied psychology. Anxiety is creating a world of hurt for ourselves about future events. It's where we try to control the outcome of what will occur tomorrow or next week or next month. That's why we get anxious over our children. The children leave home and you think, oh my God, they might be in a car accident. I better start. I've got to ring them every hour and make sure they're okay. Because that is our control. So stop controlling what is outside of our own control. So the only person that we can truly control is ourselves. Okay? So now let's go over to the ruins for this week. Let me find it in my book. It's a little eye. Here we go. Found it. Okay. How would you know if this is inverted or not? Funny that, isn't it? Because we have one here face down. Okay. So it's this one here. This guy here. Okay. He is called Isa. And it's ice. You're as cold as ice. Okay. Ice. The ruin of coldness or a freezing stoppage of some activity often associated with delays or a cooling in a relationship so straight away there I'm getting told that this is like a warning card of things that could happen if you do rec recognize that there are things out there that where you think oh this is turning as cold as ice what are you going to do right today to make that not occur if you think that you're getting distanced from a friend, ring that friend and tell them you love them. Remind them of why you're best friends. If you think you're losing your job, go and have a chat to your boss and say, hey, I'm really trying my best here. Let's negotiate what's going on. Okay, so these, I've got three dot points, may indicate a freeze or delay of some kind or an impending cooling of a relationship. Number two, the freeze may be self-imposed well, that's what the cards are all showing us this week. We're all creating this ourselves. Um, or a creation of circumstances. We're all creating this. We are creating our own realities. And lastly, if part of a negative cast, maybe a signal not to salvage the situation, but to simply move on. Now, I'm going to say it. These are pretty positive cards. Because the first one says, love enjoys doing things together so if you are in a relationship and you think oh my gosh are we gonna break up do a date night do a surprise spontaneous action where that other person gets involved and realizes and reignites that fire of love work we don't just do it to get paid the biggest work we ever do is the work that we do on our relationships creating that love that ultimately will win this war. I hope that you've liked today's reading, guys. Um, please know if you like it, down below in the description, I now have my um, gift jar if you want to throw me some dollars. I would love to update my phone. I'll show you my phone, guys. Here's the back of it. Here's my phone. It's an iPhone 6. Look, the, the, the screen is totally cracked. Look, it's all falling apart. It's got cracks all over it. Um, I've had this now for about six years, and I'd love to update it to an iPhone, at least an 8, where I can take better photos and do better videos on here, because then I can take this into the park and do inspirational park videos, etc. So I'm up for about 1500 to $2,000 for a new phone. <laughs> oh God, look at the case on it. Um... I'm trying to save up guys so if you do want to throw me a couple of dollars if this has helped you today the tip jar is below through PayPal um, I love your work guys you know nothing I do is ever for a reward but if you do feel that this is valuable information that I've shared today and you do get something out of it please remember energy work is always has to be reciprocated okay because it's always 
ongoing. So that's today's spread, guys. I hope that you go off and have a beautiful day today. It's going to be a gorgeous week. This is the week where we must, in final, as a closing statement, this is the week to take stock of what we are doing to create the reality we want. Have a good week, guys. Talk to you all soon. Bye.